Hi, I'm Tyson with Adventure Rig, and I'm pretty excited about what we're talking about today. In front of me, I have the King Camp Cot. Now, I'm excited because this is something that Callie and I have not experienced in the past. We've done a lot of camping over the years. However, we've not done any camping with a cot. And this kind of changes the experience in a couple different ways. I really like how King Camp explains it on Amazon in the description. It says you can get close to nature without actually having to sleep on it. And I couldn't agree more. Now there may be a multitude of reasons why someone would want to sleep on a cot versus sleeping on the ground. I've definitely woken up numerous nights with a very sore back. I kind of have back issues to begin with and getting on a cot will help that a lot. It's just more comfortable. Also with this cot, this entire top surface that you see is inflatable. So on the bottom side, there is a one-way valve that you can easily inflate with your breath and you now have a nice air mattress that you're sleeping on. This product did win a 2018 ISPO Gold Award, which if you're not familiar with that, it is a huge trade show. Lots of products and lots of companies attend. So to win a gold award in something like this is a huge deal. Now the size of this is 75 inches long, 25 inches wide, and you're almost five inches off the ground. I'm six feet tall. I have plenty of room on this. If you're more around that 6'2", 6'3", range, you may start to hang off the end a little bit. For me, that's really not a big problem. In the middle of the night or in the morning, I definitely wake up and after sliding and moving around, my feet can definitely end up off the edge. Pretty used to that. I don't find that it's uncomfortable. One thing that I was a little nervous about with having a cot are the feet. This one has pretty large feet to it. And what I found is once this is in the tent, it's not actually moving around. And that was my fear is that having these feet on the floor of the tent on a hard surface or having rocks underneath it would maybe do damage to the floor of the tent. However, with our tent, we also have a ground cloth underneath it. And I didn't find that I had any ill effects because of the feet, which I was happy about. You may be wondering with the size of this, how does it actually work for backpacking and camping? It does come in this really nice bag where the entire cot folds up and collapses and will fit in this. Now this comes down to 15 inches by 8.2 by 6.7 and once it's all in there it comes in just under six pounds. So you can see if you're going to be putting this in a backpack it's definitely not the lightest and it's not the smallest. However you may be someone that really wants to camp but you can't because it's just so uncomfortable. Maybe this is the ticket for you and it'll make your experience that much more enjoyable and get you out there, which is what's important. Maybe you can get rid of something else to be able to fit that. When we first got this, I was a bit nervous because along both edges, this one and this one here are almost basically a tent pole. They are a lot thicker than an average tent pole, however. The problem I had is right when we got this out of the bag is that you stick this pole all the way down through this sleeve to the end of the mattress. Once it gets down there, you have to take the pole and shove it into this corner here. And what I found when it was brand new I had a lot of trouble trying to get this pole into this corner and trying to shove it all down while pulling up. It's just a very tight fit. If you get one of these and you experience that, rest assured, over time, this whole system stretches out and it becomes a lot easier to get it all together. Speaking of easy, these legs right here are a breeze. On the foot, it does have a nice tab that you can insert your thumb into. So once your thumb is in that, you can pull it down and as easy as that, this foot comes off and it consists of four of these. These collapse in half and they all fit into that bag along with this mattress. So it's very easy to use. To get it back together, these two pieces, like a tent pole, fit together. You simply put one foot into one side and then on the other side, you can grab the foot and insert it and then push against it and it actually will lock into place and then you're all set to go. Do that for all four and you have a perfect sleeping surface that's extremely comfortable. They do claim that this supports 265 pounds. If you're in that weight range, rest assured, cause check this out. We have over 300 pounds on it right now and it is not budging. I don't know if I would definitely recommend it, 
because their weight range is 265 pounds. But if you're kind of skirting that, I think you're gonna be okay. This top surface is waterproof. So if you're someone that finds yourself losing bodily fluids throughout the evening, not to fret. It's not gonna soak into the air mattress. Once you're done, it's very easy to get the air out. You pop the valve open and all of the air comes out no problem. Again, pop the feet off, take the poles out, roll it up, stick it in its bag, and you're ready to find your next campsite. If you are someone that's looking for a cot, I think that the King Camp is a great choice coming in on the lighter end of things as well as more compact than other cots that I've seen on the market. Thanks for watching. If you guys have any questions, please be sure to leave them in the comments section below and Callie and I will get back to you. Also, if you want to check out this cot on Amazon, click the link below. And as always, if you guys are wondering where we are, or what we're up to, please check us out on Facebook and Instagram at Adventure Rig. Thanks again for watching. I'm Tyson with Adventure Rig.